welcome to everybody. Today I'm participating in the Aussie YouTube Hub for December and of course being the silly season our theme is Christmas. So the Hub uh, works that once you finish watching my video in my description box there will be a link to the next participant. If you please click on their link you will get to watch their gorgeous videos and all the our amazing talent that there is here in Australia and they will link you onto the next participant. So it would be great if you hop along and you support all us Australian little artists and our channels by commenting on our videos. That would be absolutely wonderful. Now into the layout. The paper that I'm going to be using for my background is one of the card stocks from Eco Park and it was from the A Cozy Christmas collection. From my stash, I got out a piece of red cardstock that matched with my daughter's outfit. So I'm going to use the cardstock to map my photos and also to match the outside of my main background paper. I really wanted to use these photos of my daughter because they're the only ones I have of her wearing this gorgeous little Santa outfit. But the photos were pretty bad quality. So what I did was in Photoshop, I converted the background to black and white and that left just my daughter in colour and it just really improved the look of the photos. I didn't like the plain background, so I got out this gorgeous stamp that I got from Auntie Vera Scrap and Craft. It's from, it's from, it's from Cartabella. There you go. And it's called A Very Merry Christmas and it's the notes to Jingle Bell. I wanted my stamping to be random so there are areas that were missed and I'm just going to use these gorgeous sticky notepads that I love using for masking and I just get them from Officeworks and the great thing about them is that they're fully sticky and after that I didn't really know what I was going to do with this layout and so I decided I was going to do a little bit of mixed media and I'm just using one of my favorite Tim Holt stencils which has just got all these little dots on it with some of their embossing ink and I love this product it's a distress glitter and I believe it's called rock candy and it just added a little bit of sparkle without being overwhelming this is my new toy the Tim Holtz pine branches thinlet and I absolutely love it it did take me quite a while to cut out all my little pine branches and but well worth it and also those pine cones I just used some of my scrap paper and yes utilizing everything in my room so about my scrap papers went down a little bit so as you can see now I'm just putting my photos back in and just trying to play with placements and then you will see me bring in the pine cones and try to organize it I did try different layouts I tried having pine branches all over covering the whole thing but that was a little bit overwhelming and in the end I decided that just three little pine branches was enough to bring your eye towards the photos the ephemera that I'm using is actually from Eco Park and it's also from the Cozy Christmas Collection and that has got some amazing Christmas ephemera. So I only end up using three because I didn't want to overwhelm my layout. And bringing back my branches and just playing around with the placement again. And this, this is where I decided, yes, I was just going to use three. I didn't actually film the part where I had completely covered the whole layout in branches it just looked like it was just a little bit too much let's leave it at that hey so what I did was I didn't I wanted to add a bit more dimension to my layout so you when I stuck down my pine branches I just put the glue on the the end bit just at the top there and not all the way down so that way it gives it a little bit of lift and it looks like it's actually blowing in the wind and I did the same with the pine cones I didn't put glue all over it I just put it at the top there just so that it, you know it's got a little bit of movement so this gorgeous bow that I'm going to be using in the center of my layout I made using my new toy the finlets finlets Tim Holtz finlets I should say and it is called deck the horse absolutely love how it turned out and I love the little branches everything about it it was a little bit fiddly and it did take me a little bit of um, playing around to work out how it all came together. But once I had worked that out, it was a lot of fun to do. Let me know if anyone would like me to make a video on how to actually use these skinlets because it does have all these little bits and pieces. And 
yeah, I couldn't actually find anything on how to put it all together, but I did work it out. But if someone's struggling and you want me to make a video, let me know. And I am more than happy to do a step-by-step -step instruction on how to use these gorgeous, gorgeous dies from Tim Holtz. And here I decided that it was just lacking, lacking something. And I decided that I was going to add a little bit of gold around my photos. And I'm just using an old, old ink that I have in my stash. And I think it's called, oh, just a moment and I'll find out what it's called. It's called Delicata Golden Glitz. Absolutely gorgeous ink. And I was surprised that it was still working. So there we are. I come to the end of it. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, very Merry Christmas to everyone. And I hope you enjoy the silly holiday season. And here are some of the close ups. Please subscribe to my small channel yeah i would love to have you on board and till next time thank you all so much bye everyone